Timothy, I know you just got finished, but I'm going to need you to read again. Okay. And I need everybody to take your Bible and turn to, uh, first of all, Proverbs 4, verse 7. Proverbs 4, and, and verse 7. And we are on Facebook. Amen. Let's yeah. welcome my Facebook people. Come on. Someone cares ministry, we are a part of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Because see, when the Bible, the Bible teaches us that if whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. 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 Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can be in a nightclub. Now I'm not saying you ought to be in a nightclub, I'm just saying you can be in a nightclub and get serious with God and call on him out of, out of a sincere heart, God will save you in a nightclub. Amen. But now you got to come out of that nightclub because you can't be perfected in that nightclub. But the Bible said, whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You can be in any denomination in the country. <clears throat> and maybe that denomination is off course. Maybe that leader is off course. You can be sitting in a Baptist church, a Presbyterian church, a Catholic church, or any church. If you get serious with God and repent of your sin and you call on him, he'll save you right where you are. He'll save you in a car, driving down the road. He'll save you in a bathroom. The Bible said, whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But now when you call on him and he saved you, this is what happens. <laughs> he sent his spirit. 
Bible says in Romans 8 9, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So you have to have the spirit of Christ, spirit of the Lord, Holy Ghost, same thing. Some people say it's different, it's not. Amen. By one spirit, we're all baptized into one body. So he'll give you his spirit. His spirit will come in your life. And when his spirit comes in your life, his spirit applies to your life the blood of Jesus. And he cleanses you from your sins. And he takes and place you in the body of Christ. Yes. And at that moment, you have been placed in the church. Amen. Come on. And you ain't never even met someone here, have you? Yeah. Come on now, you ain't never even met the Baptist church, the Presbyterian church, yeah. or whatever the church name is. Yeah. But I'm just saying, God said he'll save anybody who call on it. And you ain't got to be in none of these names to be saved. That's it. But he'll save you and place you in the body of Christ or in the kingdom. And so that's what make you a part of the church. Amen. Everybody got that? Amen. Amen. And that is the church of Jesus Christ. Now, who is the head of the church of Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ himself. He's the head of the church. Now, what the spirit of the Lord would do from there is he usually will direct you to a body of believers if you're not already in a body of believers. Because some, some people get saved right in, in the setting, in the church setting. So what he usually would do is he'll guide you and direct you to a body of, of born-again believers so you can learn and grow in God. Yeah. Not learn and grow in a man's church. That's it. Someone cares ministry can't save nobody. Mm -hmm. I've taught that for years. I really wish all of my other brothers in the ministry would come forth and be honest and be real. Mm -hmm. That the name of your ministry and your vision don't save nobody. That's it. And I think we have bewitched people with this. Yes. And if there's a passion on my heart to really teach people the truth about this. Because those things have separated people down through the years. And God's now ready to bring his people together. And it's impossible for him to bring them together if I keep telling you, well, you're a member of Someone Cares Ministry. Come on, man. Well, if I say you're a member of Someone Cares Ministry, that means Someone Cares Ministry lays claim on you. Yeah. Okay. Y'all see, see the yeah. trick? Anybody yeah. see the trick? Yeah. 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 And I'm telling you, this thing been going on for centuries. Yeah. And that's how all your denominations got started. Uh -huh. Now you got a group of people over here so they believe in God and them. In one religion, you got a group of people over here that say they believe in God and another religion, and on and on and on. And until these walls are torn down, we're going to all be divided. Wow. Yes, and so that's why I want to make it absolutely clear what we're about, where we're going. This name was, was uh, actually, I was praying one day, and God gave me a scripture for my own life. And he spoke a rhema word to me about someone cares ministry. And in someone cares ministry, he gave me some things to do that was going to en enhance his vision. Yeah. Okay? So someone cares ministry is really just an assignment mm -hmm. that I received from God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and most of you that's here, all of you that's here, you, 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 have, you felt the wooing. It apparently it's something about or uh, something I've taught. Or maybe my life have touched your life and you feel a wood, you feel the leading of the spirit to unite him. And now you're you, you've united and now you are here to carry out your assignment Come on, Come on. inside of the assignment God gave you. And the name of the assignment is Someone Cares Ministry. <laughs> Someone cares ministry is not the church. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, y'all. Get on. Y'all, come on, man. And I'm saying, you know why I'm coming out with this? Because all of these preachers need to get real now. Come on. Because they want you to be a member of their church. Yeah. I want you to be a member of his church. Come on. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. And I'm just telling the truth. And let me tell you something. Someone cares ministry don't hold locks and keys on nobody. Nobody. I always told y'all that, didn't I? Amen. Yeah. Now I hope all of y'all stay here forever and help me. Amen. And help me help God. Amen. But 
I have to love people when they come. I have to love people when they go. Yeah. Everybody got a right to choose where, where, where God is leading them. Yeah. Because look, if, why would I be selfish if I know the spirit of the Lord led you here to carry out your assignment inside of the assignment that, that God has given me? Well, why would I get selfish if he leads you somewhere else? Because yeah. yeah. I, I shouldn't get selfish because... Because if he's leading you somewhere else in the body, I should be having you still in the body. Yes. 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 But preachers don't see it like that. How many of y'all know preachers don't see it like that? You know why? They're selfish. They want you for themselves. They want to lock you down to their church. And you don't find that in your Bible. When somebody find that in the Bible, please come bring it to me, somebody. Let me see it. And I'm just going to tell y'all the truth. Do I want everybody to, uh, to stay with me with the assignment? Yes. <laughs> By all means. But I can't be, I can't trick you. Amen. I can't make you think you're a member of this church. No, you're a member of God's body. Amen. You're a member of the kingdom of God. Yes. You belong to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is your head. Mm -hmm. And let me just throw this in for free. I haven't even gotten to this yet. <laughs> Amen. Let me just throw this in for free. How many of y'all ever heard of who is my covering? You ever heard people talk about that? Who is your covering? Who covers yeah. you? Oh, yeah. I'm covered. Y'all yeah. ever heard that before? Yeah. 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 Now, let me tell you something. That is so ridiculous for man to cover man. Uh -huh. No flesh cover flesh. Uh -huh. Let me tell you who your covering is. Yeah. When you are born again, born of the Spirit, because it takes the Spirit of God to be born of the Spirit. Yeah. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. And when you're born of the spirit, the spirit places you in Christ. All right? Now, if you place in Christ, common sense says Christ is your covering. That's it, man. And the Holy Ghost is your covering. Yes. And then you got angels. Angels are assigned to us. Yes. That's your covering. Amen. Come on. I don't see nowhere in this Bible where man cover man, you know, flesh cover flesh. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. God has put leaders in the body. Yeah. You do need leaders. God has put apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in the body. But I find nowhere in the scripture where neither one of those brothers or sisters right. supposed to be covering you. Yes. Okay. They're supposed to be leading you and watching. What they really supposed to be doing is watching for your soul. That's it. And half of them don't even know what the soul is. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they're supposed to administrate the covering in your life. Yeah. You're covered by Jesus Christ, his spirit, and the heavenly host. Yes. And I'm here to watch for your soul to make sure you stay inside that covenant. Yeah. That's it. I'm here to administrate that. If I see something, I'm supposed to sound the alarm, blow the trumpet. Yes. If I see a lie, I'm supposed to uh, uh, combat that lie. Yes. I don't need to ask nobody permission to stop a lie in the king. Yes. Come on. Come on. When I see a lie, I'm supposed to say something. Yes. Because the Bible said no, uh, no lie is of the truth. Mm -hmm. I can show you in the book of James, chapter 5, that if you get a lie in your system, that lie, if it runs its course or take you off course. Come on. Yeah. So I'm supposed to be watching for your soul to make sure in your soul you understand the truth. So today I'm here to talk a little bit about the vision of Someone Cares. But make no mistake about it. Someone Cares Ministry is an assignment. And I gave the name to this ministry, Someone Cares. But I'm hoping and praying that everybody that will ever come here will be a part of the body of Christ or a part of the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. So when you hear me say, the church at Someone Cares Ministry, I am doing it that way to make sure Someone Cares Ministry never lay any claim over any belief. Come on, clap and praise the Lord. And, 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 and by me teaching this, it ought to show up all these other churches and they need to get in order. Stop making the members of the body of Christ members of a church you started. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're supposed to be members of the church Jesus Christ started. Yeah. And when you're a member of the church Jesus Christ started, 
You are connected with all the body of Christ. Everybody. Amen. Everybody. Amen. Because there's only one uh, body. I preached that on the inner, uh, on Facebook early this morning. And those of you that have uh, heard it, please go and hear it. And we are uh, getting a lot of viewers on Facebook. Glory to God. We've got a lot of people uh, backing us now, coming and leaving in this message. And uh, God has brought us out. And gave us greater than we've ever had. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. So this is our new beginning. Glory to God. Yeah. And God going to take us higher. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So God be the glory. Now I want you to find 1 Peter. Tammy. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 through 7. And we're talking about uh, understanding uh, this ministry and its agenda to carry out God's vision. This is God's vision. I don't want to be doing nothing God is not in agreement with. I'm sorry. I just don't want to be out here playing games. I'm not trying to get a bunch of people to, to, to show other ministers, look at how big my church is, look at how big my ministry is. Men like the glory in your flesh. Yeah. Amen. Men like to make their ministry and their church look good. I want to make God's body look good. Yes. Yes. That's why I've always won people to the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And yes, there's a righteous indignation in my belly. Okay. Amen. Against the foolishness that have been in the church for a long time. If you go to the scripture, Jesus got so righteously indignant one time, he went in the temple they were selling, and he got a whip, and the Bible said he whipped them all out of the temple. Yeah. And then he stood up and said, the zeal of thine house has eaten me up. And I'm telling you, I think a couple of Sundays ago, y'all know when I stood up, the zeal of God had eaten me up. <laughs> Amen. And I got to whooping some people in the temple, got to calling some names, and I don't regret it. Amen. 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 God told me don't feel sorry. Amen. 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 But we need to get this thing right. Hallelujah. Amen. So 1 Peter chapter 6, I'm sorry, chapter 5, verse 6 and verse 7, Tammy. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. Y'all notice I talked a lot about humble humility. Mm -hmm. I've taught that. I've taught lessons on that. That is something that has really been stamped upon my heart in my life. Now, let me add this. Humility don't mean you're stupid. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's right. Humility don't mean uh, you don't have any power in your life. Yeah. You don't have any wisdom in you. Humility is just what it is. Humility. Yeah. Humble yourself. Bring yourself down. Say you're sorry when you have to. Yeah. Humility is humility. Yeah. And it can be seen in a person's character. Yeah. So one day God gave me that scripture. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. As a babe in Christ, that scripture began to just burn in my belly. And I have used this scripture for years. Go ahead, Tammy. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. So, so it's telling you that God's got a due time to exalt you, right? Amen. God's got a due time to exalt everybody. And he said, if you humble yourself, he'll exalt you in due time. Wait till your time. I want y'all to know God has exalted someone here finish yeah. ministry. Yeah. We done came out with more than what you see. Amen. 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 Why did he exalt someone cares ministry? Because someone cares ministry is going to point everybody to the church. Yes. Which the, the one that Jesus Christ established. Not the one that a man went downtown, signed some paperwork, got a lot of not being established. Go ahead, Tammy. So I want y'all to understand. Y'all get it? Yes. Amen. Amen. This is an assignment. Someone cares ministry is an assignment yes. based on scriptures that was birthed in my heart and that was spoken to me through a rhema and that was shown to me in visions and dreams. This is an assignment. Yes. But all these churches that men uh, name should be their assignment. It should. It is not the church. Yes. Amen. The church is invisible. To be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Kingdom of God comes without observation. Yeah. And when it comes, the Bible said that the, uh, 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 the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes inside of a person, he brings the kingdom and they have become a member of Jesus' church. Yeah. 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 
Hallelujah. And you, I want you to be a member of Jesus Church. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you, church, here at Someone Cares Ministry, on, can carry out your vision. Yeah. 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 That's why in the Bible it says the church of Thessalonica. Uh -huh. The church at Jerusalem. Yes. The church at uh, Galatia. Mm -hmm. You never see members of Galatia. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on, go, I want somebody to find it. I, Double D Dog, all these preachers, go find it. Double D Dog there. It ain't in your Bible. And so a lot of these churches need to hear what I'm preaching and get it right. Because when you call another name over your life, you put yourself under that name. And the Bible said there's none other name given among men where my will must be saved. The Bible said he gave Jesus a name above every name. If yeah. Jesus' name is above every name, why are you saying you're a member of someone cares? Why are you saying you're a member of somebody else of somebody else's church? Yeah. You're a member of Jesus' church and then put Jesus in the right place. Yeah. 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 Anybody got any questions before we go on? You preach, man. I'm preaching. I'm trying not to preach. I'm trying not to preach. I'm trying to really teach and explain what this is. It's an assignment. Yeah. But you're already a part of the church of Jesus Christ. And he's your head. Hallelujah. And as long as I'm alive, he's going to remain your head. Hallelujah. He's the savior and savior of your life. Yes. And all I'm going to do is carry out his word, carry out his spirit, the assignments of his spirit, watch over your soul, and make sure we all make it in. That's it. Hallelujah. Go ahead and read it all this time, Tammy. I'm going to try not to interrupt you. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. That's why I was able to give up everything many times. Some of y'all can testify that over four or five different times I have given up everything. I used to have businesses. I used to or uh, be managers of companies. God would elevate me and bless me, raise me up. I was making big money, uh, had a nice home, two or three boats, had everything. When God told me, sell it, move to Texas, I sold it, moved to Texas. Yeah. Went to Texas. After, after a while, God blessed me, raised me up, gave me, uh, uh, gave me favor uh, to own businesses. God said, sell it, leave. Mm -hmm. I will sell it and leave. Because I trusted God with my life. Amen. He said, cast in all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Amen. And I, I, have, I have trusted God with all my life. And, and what, what made anybody think I wouldn't trust him now? That's it. That's I it. have a track record of trusting God. Everything in my life. But he told me to humble yourself. So every time he told me to humble myself, he did. I didn't know when I was going, when I humbled myself that I was going on a mission sometime. I'll be honest with you, but he sent me on many missions. Uh -huh. And I'm not afraid to tell this because this is who I am and, and, and this is what I've done. He sent me on these missions in big, huge organizations. One organization had 550 churches wow. Wow. that I went in and served mm -hmm. and was elevated. One of them had 40 to 50 churches that I went in, raised up, and served. Amen. So this is not my first rodeo, but I would humble myself Amen. under God's mighty hand, and I would cast all my care on him, and he would care for me. And then he taught me on these assignments that I care for all my people. And he showed me some leaders only care for their people, their group, their church. They say they care for everybody else, but when it comes down to laying down their life for someone else, they can't do it. So the kids that got that same care. She just cared yeah. for all of God. Amen. I understand Amen. that care. Amen. I care for everybody in this setting. I care for everybody in that setting. I care for everybody everywhere. Mm -hmm. And a true minister ought to be the same way if you got God's vision That's and it. not your vision. Amen. Amen. That's it. Let's Hallelujah. Glory. Okay, listen to this. Someone cares ministry center church was supernaturally placed in the heart of of Apostle Curtis Lewis back in the 80s. So this, this, this we didn't just fall off the turnip truck. We've been doing this a while. Man, if I would have kept everybody we ran in, you know, ran into, man, we'd have a bunch of people, wouldn't we? You know, and then when we went into these uh 
big organization, we lost something, didn't we? Every time we Amen. lost a whole group of them. Amen. Now, all I can say is maybe God wanted them there because he didn't want to sign them to the church. Yes, yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We went to do a unity march the other day and come to find out there's a man that years ago I got filled with the Holy Ghost on Plank Road. We first started on Plank Road. Got filled with the Holy Ghost and got saved on fire for God and he, he went through a wilderness and came back to God, come to find out he's with a powerful church now. Pray, uh, pray God, uh, I pray God. Yeah. He was out there yesterday. You remember yes, when he got saved? Yeah. Got saved, went to another church, and now he's back in the kingdom of God. Do yeah. 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 you think God won't forget my labor of love? No. No. I got many people planted many places in many churches. God is not going to forget me. Now that pastor may think he's going to get all the credit. <laughs> Amen. But God don't forget people's labor of love. He's not, he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I got excited. Let me get back on my point. <laughs> but anyway, it was placed in, the, in my heart over uh, in the 80s while residing in Houston, Texas. I was in Houston, Texas at this time. And still going to go back to Texas and do some more work. I'm still going to uh, 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 be here with you guys soon. He said, how are you going to do that? I don't know. I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's what apostles really do. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. All right. The ministry was later confirmed while in prayer uh, and was established in 1988 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. See, I was up at night. He would say, go. I leave Texas. Come back to Baton Rouge. And I was birthed in Houston, Texas. But when I came back to Baton Rouge, I was seeking the God, seeking God in the park out there on Evangelist Street, wanting to know the will of God. Just wanting to know the will of God. And this is when it was confirmed. Mm -hmm. And so we established it uh, back in some, somewhere around 1988 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It is legally established. Okay, someone cares ministry to the church is based on 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. That's the one Tammy just got through reading. Amen. That's why I talk a lot about uh, humility. That's why I talk a lot about God care for all his people. God care for you. And y'all often hear me say, someone cares for you. And his name, name is Jesus. Jesus. I have always promoted yes. Jesus in this assignment. Amen. 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 I, have, I have not promoted the assignment of oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. When preachers promote their church over Jesus, you put the people of Jesus in bondage. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay? And it says it's based upon 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7, which shows that God care, cares for all people. I had to learn that. He cares for all people. When people are hurting, God cares about it. Yes. And there are people in, the, in some of these churches that's being abused, misused. Yes. Yes. Didn't God hear? Egypt's cry when they was crying out to him when uh, Pharaoh was doing the wrong. Yeah. And then he called Moses and said, I hear the cry, I hear my people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, God can st God's still raising up people that hear the cry of his people. Amen. Amen. And when they're being done wrong, God will sneak somebody in there Come and confront on. the Come one on. that's doing it. Amen. 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 Glory to God. But I promise not to take y'all on no more missions like that. Amen. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. We show. That God cares for all his people, especially all people, especially his people. Yes. And now watch this. This is a part of this assignment that is called Someone Cares Ministry. The church at Someone Cares Ministry. Y'all got it? You got it? You got it? Yeah. You're the church. Uh -huh. Now who's the head of the church? Jesus. You know what? The church at Someone Cares Ministry. Amen. The church at Ephesus. I'm scripture. Yeah. The church at Antioch. Uh -huh. You never saw members of the church of Antioch. Uh -huh. And you'll never see members of someone cares ministry. Come on. Come on. Clap your hands, y'all. Uh -huh. All right. We show God cares for all people, especially his people. And, and watch this. And God desire the unity of the faith. What have I been preaching? Yes. I've been preaching. How, how many of y'all not been preaching this for years? Amen. And I've been getting persecuted for this, this yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for years behind yes, me. Yes, sir. Man. Anybody know why your persecution come with this? I'll tell you why. Because men like their kingdom. Yeah, this here exposes the the clicks of my church, uh -huh. my ministry. Uh -huh. I don't like talking like that because mm -hmm. it's not mine. 
Amen. I'm a steward over what's here. That's all a minister is. Hallelujah. I don't care how big that minister get. I don't care how many people he got in that building. They are not his. If they're his, he better make him a help. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, God kept his people. He desired the unity of the faith according to Ephesians 4.13. Read that for me, Tammy. And then we're going to probably close in John 17. Get somebody to find that for me. Call Brother Melvin, you'll find that for me? Yes. Go to John 17 and we'll start maybe at verse 1. But Tammy, read uh, Ephesians 4, verse 13. Yeah. And I'm only going over this vision because this is our assignment to carry out God's overall vision. Amen. It's to carry out God's overall vision. And one day we're going to look at God's overall vision and what Amen. that is. Amen. And every true God called preacher is supposed to have God's vision. Amen. Amen. Now, he may have an assignment, an agenda to carry it out. Mm -hmm. That's something he named. That's it. Amen? Amen. And I mean, common sense ought to tell any believer that some man founded that church uh -huh. and he named that church. Yeah. How in the world are you going to say you're a member of that over the member of the church? Come on. You know, is this making sense? Yeah. 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 Any questions so far? <laughs> Have, right. Has anybody ever taught y'all that? No minister ever taught you that? Shame on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them need to be taught. Amen. And I love ministers now. Don't get me wrong. I really love them. I ain't got nothing in my heart against none of them. But it's time out for these little foolish games they play. Right. And God has just sent me to deal with it. Uh -huh. And ha have y'all ever heard me say I don't play church? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. you can believe me. <laughs> if I tell you I don't play church, don't give me the mic. Anybody ever heard me say that? If you don't want me to say nothing about unrighteousness when I see it, don't give me the mic. But they give me the mic anyway. <laughs> He's giving it to me. Glory to God. I just want it right. Amen. Amen. Now, if a person, if a minister is righteous and right, you know, you shouldn't have no problem with this. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. To God be the glory. Read on Ephesians 4, verse 13, Tim. Till we it's all come in the unity of the faith. Say it again. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. God wants us all to come in the unity of the faith. And of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's why some preachers don't believe in perfect. They say, oh, ain't nobody perfect because they don't want you to come to a perfect man. Because mm -hmm. the Bible is just telling you right there that we all come to a perfect man. Well, if the Bible said that we all come to a perfect man and you got a bunch of leaders saying nobody perfect, he can't ever bring you there. That's yes, right. right. Yes, right. Can't ever bring you there. Amen. And was that it? Yes, sir. Okay. Read that one more time. I want to hear that one more time. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. And that's where that's where I I, uh, I seek to bring everybody Amen. to the Amen. unity of the faith. Amen. Now the unity of the faith includes life change. Amen. 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 Uh huh. Amen. That's why we was over there this morning. Amen. Amen. Well, boy, that's our family. Amen. 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 We want all of us in the same body, Amen. same church. We ain't no different. Glory to God. And I can call name after name after name. I love every church. I love Refuge Temple. Hallelujah. Do y'all love Refuge Temple? Hallelujah. I love every member there. Yeah. In the body. Yeah. We're one. Amen. Glory to God. But we just don't play games. Amen. 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 I'm one with God's people. Wherever God's people. Oh, uh, Greater King David Baptist Church. Amen. I saw that a while. Glory. Little Zion Baptist Church. Yeah. The ones that were saved in them. <laughs> we won with them. Amen. Amen. Because it's only one body. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And we got to bring them all to the unity of the faith. Yes. yes. If they want to. Yes. Because everybody don't want to unify. Everybody, everybody you can't unify with. Right. You can't unify with everybody. 
Amen. Amen. Because everybody don't want to don't want to adjust to this mindset. Everybody don't want to live holy. Everybody don't want to live righteous. And we we are not talking about uniting with stuff. Yeah. We're talking about uniting with God's people that's serious, that's on the way to heaven, yes. that's doing it. Not just talking about you living these scriptures. No, I'm talking about living them. Yes. Yes. Okay. Proving them in your character. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go to John 17 and verse 1. We're going to close there. But I want to show y'all something. When you go to our website, I don't think I have a picture of it here. You know the uh, nail star hand? Uh -huh. Y'all know the hand with yeah. the nail in it? Mm -hmm. yes, All right. When you see that hand with that nail in it, that's the logo of someone cares ministry center church showing that he cares. He cares because he died for you. Yes. Yes. So when you see that, when I say uh, someone cares for you and his name is Jesus, that yes. hand proves it. That's why you see that hand yes. on the website. And I'm only explaining the assignment. Yes. So you know what assignment we have. Mm -hmm. And this is what we spread across the world, spread on radio station, spread on television. This is what we spread inside of this lo local setting. And, uh, and when we say someone cares ministry, that's all we're talking about is our assignment. Amen. Yes. With you and the church. Amen. At someone cares. Yes. Yes. Somebody say the church. The church. At someone cares. At someone cares. The church. The church. At Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. The church. The church. At Antioch. At Antioch. That's why. Amen. 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 All right. Now, when you see that hand, you're talking about the uh, logo for ministry. Sometimes you'll see this hand, and it's not its not really big enough for everybody to see. But can everybody see that little hand? And we get close up here so people on Facebook might want to see it. Y'all see that little hand? Okay, you'll see that hand too. Now that's another division of uh, another, I don't want to like to say division, what's a better word? That's another area, huh? It's another outreach of this assignment. And this is an outreach to the five-fold ministry because part of the vision is to raise up leaders. The majority of my ministry, I have raised up leaders, pastors, uh, evangelists. If, if you come here and you got a call of an evangelist, a pastor, or apostle, or teacher, it's going to come out because I bring them out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I got a lot of pastors pastoring right now, a lot of preachers scattered out. And you know what? I didn't play witchcraft with none of them. I didn't try to control them, assess fees from them, look at me and look at how many ministers I got. I raised them up, sent them out. That's it. Paul raised them up and said, now I commend you to God. Yeah. But if you got a selfish minister, want them all in, in my house, all up under me, and don't want to dispatch them that is selfish and that's not God and that's not the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. A true apostle raise up true leaders and, and put the right doctrine in them and dispatch them. With no strings attached, I, don't, I ain't trying to duplicate more of someone cares ministries. Uh -huh. right, right, you see what I'm saying? Right. Yes. I ain't gonna require every one of them to have someone cares ministry name. Come on. Yes. See, I'm trying to build a business. Come on. If they want to choose another name or another assignment, or, you know, call it another assignment, that's on them. Yes. Just don't attach your assignment over the the, the, the Christians. Because the only thing supposed to be over them is the name of Jesus if they're in the church. Yes, yes. That's, that makes sense to believe you. Okay? So when you see this hand right here, this is another area of our calling where we work with the five-fold ministry. Some of y'all know I have went to work with ministers. Mm -hmm. I just got there. <coughs> That's what I do. Yeah. And God dispatched me. Mm How -hmm. in the world, a little nobody preacher, country preacher, uh, you're dispatch, dispatched in some of the largest, largest organizations around the country, given favor, raised up, uh -huh. and then confront somebody. Uh -huh. How did that happen? God does it. God does it. Amen. 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 So that's really uh, the first part of the vision, and maybe next time I'll go a little bit further. And I thought it was very necessary for these first two, first couple of meetings at least, to kind of share with you what this assignment is about is about because the Bible said, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom. But with all you're getting, you get an understanding. How many of y'all appreciate me giving you a little understanding about this assignment? 
so it won't be yeah, so it won't be strange when you see it carried out. Yeah. And I've always been steadfast. I've always been bold. I, 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 I walk humble. I don't fake humility. I, I, I walk humble before God. Right. But a lot of people misunderstand humble. That's it. For weak. Humble, not weak. That's it. I'm telling you, humble, not weak. Humble is just. Bible said we will bold as a lion. Yes. Come on. Amen. And when it's time for me to rise up and be bold, I know how to do that. Amen. Because yes. when you're dealing with strong leaders, yes. you've got to have an anointing. That's to right. Deal with That's that. right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm talking about down through the years. I'm not singling out nobody. It's Amen. just I don't right. deal with a bunch of them. Amen. 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 And some of them have really repented and they're doing well now. Amen. And I've got a relationship Amen. with them. Amen. And they, they come back and tell me, you did a lot to help me. Amen. And this is one of the greatest preachers I've known. And they didn't used to say that <laughs> when I was confronting them about their evil. Yeah. They didn't say it then. Amen. And the thing about humility, you can take correction. Yes, it. I don't mind taking correction too. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Now, okay, before we get out of here, I know we in um, uh, uh, Saint John chapter seventeen. That was something else that I had thought about doing, but it kind of slipped my mind. But anyway, go ahead and start reading, Brother Melvin. Uh, yeah. Saint John chapter seventeen. And here's the prayer of Jesus, and Jesus is very adamant about this prayer. He prayed it, and I, I, I never see Jesus pray a prayer that God didn't answer. Amen. God answered this prayer. My question is, will people answer it mm -hmm. and get in order with it? Yeah. Because this is his prayer. This is his desire. Go ahead. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Mm -hmm. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, mm -hmm. and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Mm -hmm. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I have with thee before the world was. Mm -hmm. I now, have now he's getting ready to tell you what that gl that glory is, that glory was. Come on. I have manifested thou name unto men, mm -hmm. which thou given me out of the world. Okay. Someone cares ministry assignment is to manifest Jesus' name mm -hmm. everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. We want to we want to bring people back under the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. not under the name of churches. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Thou they were, and thou gavest them be, mm -hmm. and they have kept thy word. Mm -hmm. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Mm -hmm. For I have given unto them the words which thou hast given me, and they have received them, mm -hmm. and have known surely that I came out from thee, and that they have believed that thou didst send me. Mm -hmm. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which... Okay, now stop right there. Now, Jesus prayed now. He prayed to the Father. He said, I pray for them. Right. I pray not for the world. I want to ask you a question. You, do you think Jesus loved the world? Yes, he did. Well, why did he say, I pray not for the world? Come on. Anybody know? I'm going to tell you why. Because this is a unity prayer. Mm -hmm. If he would have prayed for the world right here, he would have been praying for the world to be united with us. Yeah. Did y'all get that? Yeah. This is a unity prayer. Yeah. A oneness prayer. Yeah. He's not trying to get us to be one with people that's world. Come on. Come on. That's why he said, I pray not for the world. Yeah. And there was other times that he cared for the world and he says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So he loves the world, but in this prayer the world is not included. Yeah. Because he don't want you Connected to being one with worthy people. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So you got that? Go ahead. Yes. That's why he said, I'm, I'm not praying for the world now. Mm -hmm. This is a whole nother reign. A whole nother Amen. prayer. Come on. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, 
that they may be one. That, as they, we that are. they may be one. And Jesus prayed that yes, they may Lord. be one. The only way we're going to be one is in Him, in Christ. But when the Spirit of God places you in Christ, I don't care if, you, if you're in Louisiana, if you're in Africa, if you are across the world, when God's Spirit places you in the body, you automatically become one with that person, even though you've never seen it. Amen. Amen. And, and if you walk in that oneness and be led of the Spirit and stay in this apostle's doctrine, the Bible said that when, when the last trumpet blow, we all going to be caught up. And it said we're going to be just like him. Every son of God going to have the same mind, same heart, same passion, same judgment in this one Christ. But now, if, you, if, if, if Christ wrapped uh, 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 take up, and I believe, the, the, some people don't believe in rapture. Let me tell you what rapture means. Rapture means caught up. Uh -huh. Amen. I don't believe in that doctrine rapture where you're not going to go through the tribulation. Some people fall out when they hear the word rapture. Uh -huh. Rapture just simply means caught up. Uh -huh. The word rapture is not, you don't find it in the Bible. It means caught up. Mm -hmm. What the error in some doctrines of the rapture is they say you're not going to go through the tribulation. You don't find that. We're going to go through the tribulation. Yes, yeah. What we are not appointed to is God's wrath. The yes, yeah. Bible says we are not appointed to wrath, but the church will go through the tribulation. Yes. That's why the church better get ready. Amen. But I just wanted to explain that word rapture. That's in the dictionary, and it means to be caught up. You don't find it in the Bible, Amen. but you got a doctrine called rapture that say you don't have to go do nothing. Is that clear? Amen. Yes. Okay, we'll teach that on another lesson. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain everything. <laughs> While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Uh -huh. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost. Mm -hmm. But the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have thy joyful, that they might have joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. Because they are not of the world. Let me tell y'all something. And I'm gonna, we're going to go and stop right there. Let me tell y'all something. If you sit here and you said amen to this message Come on. and you receive it, church folks ain't going to like you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And so, so it's, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Yep. It's all right. And so persecution comes and, and, and persecution come with this message. Amen. Because people love to say, I'm a member of this church. I'm a member of here. This my pastor. This my denomination. Well, Jesus, my pastor. And I'm in Jesus church. He's my covering. I just happen to have a sign and if someone cares. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. I want to thank God for those on the internet. Glory to God. If you have any comments, please send your comments. We will try to address uh, anything you put on us. Amen. If you don't like us, put that on there too. I can take it. I'm made for it. <laughs> Glory to God. But we love you. Amen. 